Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now, Helicon Tex is a brand whose gear I've come to greatly enjoy, appreciate, and trust. Helicon gear is gear that for me has really helped to keep me comfortable and safe while on my outdoor activities. So you'll see in a lot of my videos, I am wearing Helicon Tex gear that's not just for an advertisement, that's because this stuff really works. It's comfortable, it's durable, it lasts, and it keeps me warm when it's cold, it keeps me dry when it's hot, it breathes, it has great features. Helicon Tex is a brand whose gear I have come to greatly appreciate. And so here today, I have a big old box of Helicon Tex gear that I cannot wait to get into. This here is a whole bunch of gear from the Bushcraft and Outback line. So all kinds of different things from equipment I'm gonna wear to even, well, you're just gonna have to wait and see. But all the things in here we're gonna take a look at today. We're gonna get a first look and first impression. I'm gonna try on some of these things for fit and we're gonna look at some of the other gear items that we have in here. And then in future videos, we're gonna get this stuff out into the field and I'm gonna do a full field review on each and every one of these items. Now, I don't know about you, but I can't wait to see what's inside this box. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. So before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Helicon Tex who did provide these products for review. And so as I mentioned, I have a whole bunch of products in here from the Outback and Bushcraft line. And that's the first thing, just realizing that Helicon Tex has a number of different lines that represents their different types of products. Now, it's very easy to look at a number of their different products and mix and match them and figure out how they're going to work best for you. But here I have a full setup from basically the Bushcraft and Outback line, which is most appropriate to my intended use. And so as we go through, through this, Helicon Tex worked with me to assemble a package of things that are quite related. And you'll see as I move forward, all of this is going to work together as a system. And so we're going to go through each and every one of the products. The first one I'm going to take out here, well, this is the Woodsman Anorak. So you will see this Woodsman Anorak jacket. We're going to take a look at this in detail, but the first thing is this is a size medium, so a US medium. I have found that with Helicon Tex sort of like uppers, you know, all of your shirts and jackets and the fleeces that I tend to be more towards the medium size. I'm hoping that's going to be the case here with this anorak. And what about some pants? Well, here we have the Pilgrim pants. And again, these are in a medium long, so I have a waist roughly around 32 to 34 inches at the size medium that comes out to be about a US 32. And then my pant length is always 34 inches. So here the long being 34 inches. So these in the medium long being roughly a 32, 34. Here we have the Swagman Roll Basic. So Helicon Tex has the Swagman roll, which is kind of like a poncho slash almost sleeping bag. It's like good thermal wear that you can wear on the outside of your clothing to give you additional insulation if needed. So here, the Swagman roll basic. And one of the new products from Helicon Tex, and I'm pretty excited about this, this is the Frostbite hand warmer. So again, having a hand warmer that you can put on the outside of your clothes to help keep your hands warm. I'm always working in the outdoor environment, so to have a hand warmer, this is going to be sweet. But they say you lose most of your heat out of your head. Well, whether that's truth or myth, I don't know. But regardless, here we have a hat. So this here is the range beanie cap. But to keep my hands warm, here we have the Woods Crafter gloves. Now, these are not insulated. They are thin. I do typically in the winter time want some thicker gloves, but these are sort of that sort of middle range where you don't have much in the way of insulation, but good durable leather gloves. So these are gonna be applicable, not just for the winter application, but really once I get further into the spring and into the summer. So we'll test these at length to see how they are in terms of overall durability. 
Now, stepping away from the clothing and talking about building a shelter, well, sometimes you need yourself a good tarp. And here we have two offerings from Helicon Techs. So this one here is the Super Tarp, and this one here is the Super Tarp Small. So we're gonna compare these at some point side by side and take a look at them out in the field so that you can make a decision between which one of these might be the right size for you. And I don't know about you, but for me, being out in the bush means drinking coffee. So here we have a coffee grinder, and here we have the French press. So this is a mug and French press. So these are gonna help me stay caffeinated while I'm out there. And I don't know about you, but I always enjoy my coffee while I'm out in the wilderness, out in the mountains. Helps to keep me caffeinated, which I need, but it also helps keep you warm. So if you need a little morale boost or something like that, having some good coffee is definitely a great way to go. And so all of these products, again, is not necessarily outerwear, but it's a bunch of gear that can be used together to enhance your outdoor experience. And at this point, I need to try on all these things. We're gonna take a little bit of a deeper look, get some initial impressions, and look at the overall features. And so now as we get into the details, again, here we have the Pilgrim Pants. So these are part of the Bushcraft lineup, these Pilgrim Pants. Very, very cool, and they're reasonably new in the Helicon Tex lineup. Now, Helicon Tex having a number of different styles of pants. These, to me, particularly called out because of the size of the pockets, the layout, and some of the features that we're going to see as we get into these. Now, you will notice that Helicon Tex does utilize their Dura Canvas material. They actually have a few different materials, their Versa Stretch and their Dura Canvas. From what I can tell so far, this being the Dura Canvas, the Versa Stretch is a very thin material that has a little bit of give, and I have found that both the Versa Stretch and the Dura Canvas being wonderful. All of their pants do seem to dry out very fast, and that's what I like about Helicon Tech's gear. And so as I mentioned, I am a size medium long in the Helicon Tex gear being the equivalent of a 32 inch waist and a 34 inch leg. So opening these up here, these are in the color ash and black. So you'll see a two tone look here. So the ash gray being the main color of the body of the pants and then the black being in the reinforced areas both on the knees and on the rear. So very cool. And what I really gravitated towards with these pants, if you notice the high waistband in the back, a very high waistband, that's gonna be nice when you're doing a lot of work outside and bending over a lot. You really don't want that plumber's crack. So for me, having something like this is gonna be sweet. And feeling it real quick, it is a little bit padded. The other place this is gonna be great is wearing a backpack. So a lot of times you do end up with, you know, a little bit of wear on your back from where the belt comes around and just the pack sort of rubbing on your lower back. That's gonna be nice in the fact that it's actually padded there. That's pretty cool. So overall, I will be interested to see how these work out. Now, a lot of little sort of odds and ends and features, little sort of doodads here and there. Like for example, the ability to lash things to the pants. So you end up with loops and little rings and then lots of pockets and just a cool layout. So number of pockets here, opening this up. Well, this one is buttoned, but for example, that will be great for either a folding saw or a knife, very nice. Zippered pockets, nice and large and vented. That's another great thing about Helicon Tex. They do a wonderful job with their ventilation. And even on these jackets here, you'll notice ventilation on the inside, which is great. So just nice to be able to air out a little bit. And that's also the case with these pants. And then on the front, even an additional pocket, again, buttoned. Which for me, I have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of these buttons. I have had these on a few garments at this point and they're a little bit tricky. Now, not a big deal. I'd rather them actually be tough to open because at least the contents in your pockets aren't gonna fall out. But inside here, just again, another nice large pocket. So like layers and levels of pockets on each section of the pants, which is sweet. So. I'm not gonna go into full detail here. Again, this is just an initial look and impression. 
but these feel like they're going to be a nice quality durable material i trust the dura canvas very much and these pilgrim pants i think are going to be very very cool which brings me now to the woodsman anorak jacket which an anorak is a pullover and you'll see here that this again is in the size medium and also part of the bushcraft lineup now this particular color in coyote and ash very cool i like the idea that it is two-toned and will also play off of the pants quite nicely so the ash on this will play off of the ash on the pants which is neat so here a thin jacket no insulation so it's more of a shell first thing i can see a nice shaped hood this is going to be great to help you with that visor so a nice fitted and shaped hood being a pullover is going to help cut down on wind. A lot of times when I'm working outside, I don't need a lot. I just need something. So in the wintertime, even though this is just a shell, I think it's going to do a great job to help manage my body temperature overall. Now unzipping down the front and looking at the inside, there are some areas that I can see with mesh. Like for example, even on the hood, a little bit of mesh and this large front pocket here and opening it up couple of D-rings and areas for attachments, some pockets on the inside and organization, which is really pretty cool. These side pockets allowing access from the side and a massive side zip. So just the entire thing in the front being mesh inside those pockets, the whole side being able to unzip all the way up to the pits. So tons of breathability this is just a nice outer shell layer i think this is going to be pretty cool so this grid fleece beanie this is the range beanie cap now this might actually be part of either the urban or range line but i thought this to me would be about perfect where it's the coyote tan it matches it's fairly lightweight i don't like a big heavy insulated hat i just like a little something to keep a lot of the wind off and just my ears warm and you'll notice most of the time i actually wear hoodies so i will use a lightweight hat in combination with a hood to really make more of a system and i think this grid fleece beanie cap here is going to be about perfect so these woodsman gloves again here being in the bushcraft lineup who knows if these are going to fit let's give it a try and boom just about perfect and i can tell you already these feel like they're going to have nice dexterity so good quality smell smells like nice leather good fit cool little cinches here that's just awesome really neat how that's done i like that feature a lot and they do come with a little carabiner so if you need to you can clip these to a pack clip them to your pants the inside of your jacket very cool so i am looking forward to getting these out into some good hard field use now this frostbite hand warmer this is capable of going around your back you basically will cinch this around your waist you can put this around your neck if you so choose. You can also attach this to like plate carriers or different equipment. So a very versatile piece of kit. And you'll see here just some clips. So very cool and gives you a nice soft inner fleece pocket to help keep your hands warm. So maybe you have thinner gloves. Maybe you don't have any gloves at all. Maybe you froze your gloves and now you need to help keep your hands warm. Well, this is definitely going to do it. Looking at the front here, very cool. So just a nice interior pocket there. I'm looking forward to this. I think this is going to be a nice addition to my Bushcraft outerwear lineup. And brand new to the Bushcraft lineup, this is the Swagman Roll Basic. So the Swagman Roll, from what I can tell, can be used in a bunch of different ways. And I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to use this yet, but I know it will definitely come into play. So removing it here, you'll see a nice little stuff sack. And this again in the color Coyote. So a nice quilted roll here. And it can be used as a poncho or a blanket or a sleeping bag liner or an under quilt. I mean, there are so many things that this can be used for and very, very cool. So you'll see here, it has a hood. It's a pullover design. I know there's a belt on here. 
very neat and just a good insulation layer. So adding on to your system, having another piece of kit that you can pull on the outside to add the thermal properties when you need it. I think this Swagman Roll Basic is going to be a neat piece of kit. And when you're talking about bushcraft or even being out in the wilderness or the mountains, there's no doubt that having a good quality tarp is going to be very, very important. And here you'll see the super tarp. So initially, first glimpse, there is this sort of outer pouch. And what's cool is this is mesh. So if your tarp is wet, it's going to breathe and it's going to allow some of the water to shed off. Now on the inside, this also has what looks to be a dedicated stuff sack. So that also very cool. And I'm not going to open this completely up, but getting into this here and pulling out the super tarp, well, that's nice lightweight kit. So from what I can tell in an initial glimpse at the first tie outs here, well, let's see how they look in terms of reinforcement. They definitely have some reinforced panels in here. Now they are reinforced with what looks to be more ripstop nylon. So the overall quality over time, we're just gonna have to keep an eye on it. I would be very, very curious, but here, this one, the full size in the color black and the small, which is very small. This one here is in gray. So the shadow gray, which is very dark. It is a dark color, almost black, but not quite and the same exact construction. So if you're looking for a small, compact, lightweight and capable tarp, this is going to be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to actually testing this out and hopefully a lot this summer. But as I mentioned, being in the bush for me is about coffee. So here we have the coffee grinder. So a very neat, small, compact and field worthy coffee grinder. So a little container on the bottom to hold your beans, a grinder on the top, and well, here, a French press. So these are perfect going side by side together. These are gonna be a neat part of my kit and I'm looking forward to my coffee in the bush using this nice Helicontex kit. Now the French press does come in this nice little bag so helping to keep things contained. And as I open this up here and take a look, well, there you go. So not too much to it. I mean, fairly straightforward, but nice to have this quality pot and little French press kit. I think this is going to be fun. And so now trying these Pilgrim pants on for size, well, you can see these are absolutely perfect. So again, me being a 32, 34, these fit me literally perfect in the size medium. Now, one thing and just an initial impression, you do have the Velcro enclosure on the fly, which I love. That to me is such a huge deal because you get essentially infinite adjustability. But with that said, I would like to see maybe just a little more Velcro to give you a little more adjustment, but it's not a big deal and it's pretty darn sweet. So overall, I think these have a wonderful fit. These feel great. I am actually very excited for these pants. And I think not only do they look a little bit sort of bushcrafty, but if you got the right color combination and maybe not necessarily the two-tone, I'd say you could actually get away with these wearing them to the office and have like a pretty cool pair of versatile pants. So these are absolutely wonderful. I am pumped about these Pilgrim pants. And so now the Woodsman Anorak jacket. Well, again, this is a pullover and chances are I will be wearing some sort of thermal layer so whether the fleece or maybe something other than that but in terms of the fit again this is a size medium and you'll see on me I am six foot one roughly I am at this current moment a little less than 170 pounds and the size medium well the arm length is perfect the body it's not overly bulky the fit and the length, this is sweet. The cuffs, I love that this is a Velcro cuff. That's going to be nice. You can fine tune that exactly how you want it. I think this is stylish. I think it's cool. This Woodsman Anorak, this is sweet. So fitting with the pants, again, like I said, that ash gray is going to play nicely together. And when I think about outdoor gear, 
I don't think of it as one item or another. I always think about it as a system. So having this lightweight, breathable, vented, dry quickly sort of outer layer, this is gonna be nice. So for the outdoor application, whether you're hiking, camping, backpacking, bushcraft, if you're an outdoor type of person, this is gonna be a nice setup. So this Woodsman Anorak here, this is beautiful. I love this. Now this beanie cap comes in a couple of different sizes. I picked small, medium. I'm gonna hope for the best here. I'm gonna pull off the tag and I am gonna straight up commit to this. So small, medium, is this the right size for me? Yes, it is. And I can tell you it does have a little bit of flex and give. So even if it was a little bit on the tight side, this would work out. And remember what I said about thinking about my gear as a system. Chances are underneath this anorak, I'll probably have a fleece with a hood. That's gonna be nice. Or even if I just use this hood, once I get that all adjusted, it's gonna cut down on the wind and it's gonna help hold my heat in. I can tell you this is going to be awesome. The hood on this, plenty of visibility and in combination with the beanie, this is gonna make for a nice system. And again, as I mentioned, Getting into the gloves, these are a wonderful fit and very nicely done. Now, I can take this carabiner clip, I can attach it in a number of locations so I can easily stash my gloves, but looking at it here, these do have a wide cuff. Now, I can do one of a couple of things. I can either tuck these underneath the cuffs of my jacket or even over, but they have these cinches here. Now, for me, I know personally, I'm gonna get these nice and treated. So the next time you see them, they're not gonna be this pristine. They're gonna have been treated with some sort of a, either like waterproof repellent, um, something pretty good. I might put some wax on them to toughen them up a bit in the palm areas, but overall, this is gonna be nice. So now you're seeing that this system is starting to come together. Now here, the Frostbite hand warmer. Well, this can do one of a couple of things, but for the moment here, looping this around, I'm clipping it and we'll cinch this down real basic here but that's an initial impression so this is going to live right here and i have the ability to stash some little goods in here which is nice maybe i have my fire starter my little bushcraft kit and then again just the ability to keep my hands warm while i'm out and working and the fact that this is very flexible look how much length i have here on the strap which is nice so i will be able to clean this and tidy it up no problem and get it all adjusted that'll be perfect but having this right on the front here that's going to be absolutely sweet and my first look you will see the coyote tan is just a slightly different color there i have noticed that with some of the helicontact stuff their colors can vary depending on what fabric the actual dye takes to. So each dye in each fabric is a little bit different. It's not a big deal. It's minor, it's very subtle, but you can notice. So for example, each one of these coyote tans is just slightly different, but overall it's gonna make a nice impression and it's a good matching set. And last but not least, the Swagman Basic here. So getting this on when I need a little additional warmth, well, again, I'm gonna be potentially out in the cold with just a shell and maybe another light insulation layer, but throwing this on, well now I have myself a nice quality insulation layer. And it's gonna take me a little bit to figure this out. There are a number of different adjustments and zips and things that help me to get this sort of cinched the way I need it. But overall, that's gonna work out well. Now, my initial impression is this hood, if I'm not careful, could fall down in front of my face a bit. I may find that I'm using my hat and the other hood, so maybe what I do is actually pull the anorak hood out. I can adjust this to my needs, get the hat on, and then the Swagman hood's just a little extra if I need it. But this does have buckles, you have the ability to cinch this around you. So if I need a little extra warmth when I'm out there, this is gonna be cool. Actually not cool, it's gonna be warm. Well, so again, a lot of just awesome gear and equipment from the company Helicon Techs. Again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Helicon Techs who did provide this for review. 
Helicon Tex is a company whose gear I have come to greatly enjoy, appreciate, and trust. That's the most important thing, having gear that works as a system that keeps you safe, it keeps you dry, it keeps you warm, it keeps you out of the elements when you need it the most, and that is absolutely what I've come to enjoy about Helicon Tex. So again, thank you very much to the people there. I will at this point continue to move forward with this video series. I'm gonna cover all of this gear in pretty much, I would say for the most part, each one of these products having their own standalone video. Now, some of these things you're gonna see pretty soon, if you have not followed my Bushcraft Wonderland shelter build, I do strongly suggest to go and take a look at some of that footage. Currently at this time, I have shot and filmed and released a number of episodes. So moving forward, you are gonna start to see all of this gear showing up in that series. Now it'll be in different forms, mixed and matched with other gear, but all of this stuff definitely coming into play. So if you are interested, check out my Bushcraft Wonderland shelter series. But with that said, this video is coming to a wrap. An initial first look and impression of this Helicon Tex outdoor bushcraft and Outback series gear. Very cool, absolutely awesome. I am pumped to put this to good practical use. So first impressions are an important one. And as always, I am definitely impressed. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.